At this point in the story, the old man fell silent and pushed away his saddle of lamb. His eyes went blank as two stones. I could see he was in distress. Are you ill, Mr. Mustafa? I finally asked. Oh, dear me, no, he said. It's only that I don't know how to proceed. He was crying. You see, I never speak of Agatha because, even at the thought of her name, I'm unable to control my emotions. Well, I suppose there's no way around it. You see, she saved us. On our third formal rendezvous, I had asked for her hand in marriage, and she had agreed. Will you marry me? Yes. We did not have 50 klubeks between the two of us. No one knew, of course, but then who would have cared? We were each completely on our own in the world. And we were deeply in love. Here. Thank you. It's a book. I see. Romantic Poetry, Volume 1. And Mr. Gustav recommended it. I have a copy of my own as well. I ruined the surprise, I suppose. I'll go ahead and open it anyway. Okay. Read the inscription. For my dearest darling, treasured, cherished Agatha, whom I worship, with respect, adoration, admiration, kisses, gratitude, best wishes, and love, from Z to A.